Hey guys, welcome back to another scrap mechanic video and today I'm going to show you guys something revolutionary. So as you've already seen, you can see that this is mirrored, like perfectly mirrored. And if I place a seat here, it also mirrors here. Perfect, right? This is not an optical illusion, both seats work. It's actually the mirror mod. So the mirror mod is basically this part over here and you'll find it with your connection tool when you place it down. And basically it allows you to place parts like uh, wedges and it'll mirror them. Perfect, right? Um, now this can happen in multiple ways. So you can either start off a new creation on the lift with just a mirror part and then attach your blocks to that. Or if you have an already almost perfectly mirrored creation that's really important then you can place down your mirror on it and then you can perfectly just place parts and also remove parts even if they didn't get placed after the mirror got placed because the mirror will check which parts are mirrored so for example if you remove the mirror and this is kind of bad if you place something here and then you uh, edit this you'll also get it over there but this can happen in your disadvantage if you build something really weird and there's already something there it will get glitch welded and i don't think you want that to happen so be really careful with what you do with this mirror now the other way was to just create it on the lift and start from here start from scratch now this is the safest way to do it and this way you'll never ever break something now another way to do it by the way if you destroy anything on one side it destroys on the other side but what you can also do is weld something so if you have um, I don't know something like this and you weld that it'll get created on the other side too so you could make things really simple by just creating half of a creation so say you're building a really big ship and you only want to build half of it and the other half needs to be generated so just build your half of the ship like that and then basically you just, uh, just a second, let me get some space to work with. And then basically just place down your mirror. By the way, the mirror works in all kinds of ways, but do not place multiple mirrors on your creation because you will glitch things out. Then you can weld that over there and your other side gets created, as you can see. So now I'm gonna place a seat here. You see it still works. And well, we have the mirrored creation. This one is uh, built by me and Coca Cookie, by the way, a l really long time back uh, in a stream. Anyway, as you can see, no longer you no longer have to suffer trying to make everything perfectly mirrored. So yeah, if you, if you like place something here, it gets placed there. Now, um, for these center parts, there's something really, um, think, something you need to be careful with. You can place in the middle, that's just fine. But once you place like this, it, you can't mirror that. Like, how is that gonna mirror? If, if it mirrors, it will get glitch welded inside of each other. And that's why my tool restricts this. So like, if you place something like that, that's perfectly mirrored. The mirror of that thing is the mirror of itself, like it, it references to itself. But once you build something like this, it just gets removed. It's invalid. So if you want to make sure stuff like this doesn't happen or your creation doesn't corrupt, then just always make sure that you don't place in the middle. Just don't. Remove the mirror and then uh, fix your center thing. Or even if you have uh, a creation that you want to be even instead of uneven, because this is uneven, 
then you just need to destroy that block over there and paste the two pieces together with the weld tool. That's it. That's it. It's as easy as that. Now, um, every vanilla block part shape, everything in the vanilla inventory is supported, even signs. So if you like place a sign like that, it gets mirrored. Now this mirror happens through a configuration, which I had to manually do part per part. This means that modded blocks are not supported yet. You can add support for mods yourself and submit them to me. Now it's highly recommended that mod makers themselves do this, but um, I'll allow anyone to do it. Uh, well, of course, with the mod maker as a priority. So if he sent something in for uh, his mod, like configuration of uh, mirror parts, then I'll take his uh, configuration. But, um, oh, right. Just a quick example of showing that it can work in any rotation. If you place it like this, it gets rotated like that. If you place it like this, it gets rotated like that. And if you place it like that, it gets rotated like that. Now, one other really neat feature that you guys might like is that there's full color support. As you can see, you can just paint stuff like that and it just works. It perfectly works. It's really amazing. Um, honestly, there's there's 700 lines of code just in, in making sure that this works. So it's amazing. One warning though with this mod, if you place one mirror, it can mirror over this side. And while that works, you can also place a second mirror and then it will like mirror in four ways. But this is really, highly discouraged because you will see four engines now four um, and if I place one part down this engines will go to eight if I place another one down 12 this is highly discouraged this is like a small bug in the mod which I cannot fix because it requires 700 more lines of code and I, I really don't feel like it. So don't use multiple, mir multiple mirrors and you'll be fine. Now, this cannot be removed by hand. If you remove this engine, you'll crash. So you'll have to delete it, the entire creation. Now, it's just like that. Um, there's no way to fix it, really. But now, on to adding support for mods. For this, you'll want your game to be in developer mode because you cannot add the configuration. As you see, I cannot interact with this thing and you cannot create extra configurations for modded parts. So let's exit the game. Then you'll want to go to scrap mechanic in your library. You right click properties, start options, and you type dash dev. Now this will um, allow you to go in developer mode for scrap mechanic this does not allow for scrap mechanic multiplayer so if you want to play with your friends again you have to go here again and remove this anyway you press ok and you just start scrap mechanic and then you'll also want to go in your logs folder later on it's at this part but we'll get to that okay say we want to add support for the mod pack polygons. So step one is to place down your mirror and check if this rotation is correct. Okay, so basically this is fine, but say you mirrored it wrongly like this, then um, developer mode will not work uh, just because of the way it's programmed anyway. So you'll want it to basically look at the sun like this with the, the, the plate. Anyway, um, that's step one. Step two is build yourself a rig where you can place down parts in any rotation. I, I like to build something like this. And then out like this. 
and then a wall over here. This way we can place parts of, on this part on this uh, this wall over here, there, there, and there. And that's basically all the rotations that you need. Now, say we want to rotate this part so that when you place it down like this, it doesn't create like that. We want to change that. We want to configure that. Now, basically what you want to do is press E on the mirror. Mirror mode debug is enabled now. And you'll see ready for original rotation. So basically you can place it down and then you can uh, place down the correct mirror rotation like that. And now it has that configured. So now this is correct and also this is correct. Now you'll see it wants a no mirror rotation, but I just wanted to place it down as a test and I do not want to change it. Now I can crouch and it resets and then we can uh, go back for an original rotation. Basically, it's like the, the the undo button. It does not undo when you place this wrong, by the way. If you place that wrong, it's, it's saved. It's only when you place that down. Now, I can fix that again by place, placing it like that. Anyway, basically, you'll want to change that for every part. So, I like to do uh, rotations like this. Um, and well, I mostly ignore these because you can do these on the wall like that, you see? So um, also this is the same on the other side. Um, also, if you're, if you're just testing like this and you're kind of getting annoyed of crouching, just press E on the thing again, debug mode disabled and you can place down as many parts as you want. Now, say you place too many parts down and you just aren't arsed to it, like destroy every single one by hand. Just hold it, hold crouch, place it down and all of them get removed. That's just an easy way of like saying I want to start over with something else. Now we can go for the part over there. So that's correct now, we can go over here. Uh, now that should be correct, yes, and then over here, and that's correct. See, it's outwards, and that's also outwards. Now we've already tested the uh, the part over here, like this, so that's already correct. We know that, and both of them are correct once you do one uh, rotation. So, like one rotation references to the other and the other uh, rotation references to this one. So if you do one rotation, basically, it uh, it handles most of it by its own. Now, the only rotations we still need to do are the wall ones. So if you place it like that, that is still not correct. So we need to correct that. If you place it like this, still also not correct. And then we have this rotation, also not correct. And then we have this rotation pointing to the wall, also not correct. And now that's fixed. So on the wall, there's four kinds of rotations. Be sure to check every single one of them. On the ceiling, there can be one, two, or four. Uh, same on this side and same on this side. And also on that side, of course. So that's this part now. Now this part is correctly configured now. Now, another thing I want to point out is parts like this. This cannot be rotated on the other side. But the mod pack has a really neat solution for that. It has an L and an R uh, kind of this wedge. This way, you will have um, the mirrored part for this. So, like, if you place it down like this, you see it should be mirrored like um yes like this so like wait let me place it there so if you have this one over there it should be mirrored like that now these are two different parts you think this wouldn't be possible with the mirror engine uh with the mirror mod you're wrong 
Well, you can do this. So you have this part over here and you can mirror it like so with the different part. And it works, as you can see. You can just have two different parts. You can even have parts that perfectly mirror vanilla parts. So say your mod has a perfect mirrored shark. Then you can place the vanilla shark here and you can place your mirrored shark with the nose to the other side over here. And then it perfectly mirrors that. And as soon as your mod is present in the world, then the mirror mod will mirror the shark with your mod instead of the vanilla shape. But if your mod is not present, then it will just use the vanilla shape, uh, the vanilla shark. Say you did that with every single part in your mod and you're done. Then basically you'll want to make sure that the mirror mode is enabled, the mirror mode debug mode is enabled and you hold crouch for five seconds. Now, when you hold it for five seconds, you'll see in the console that it printed out a really long string over here. And then you can go to the logs folder of your scrap mechanic. This is for me in the E folder, but for you, it can be in the C or the D folder. And you'll want to go to this path. Now, this might differ for you. You'll want to sort it by date. So this will be sort by for you. And you'll want to open the game and then whatever dot log. And as you can see, that's the current date, current hour even. And you'll edit that. You'll go down all the way down and you'll copy it like this. So you start on this line and you copy this. Now you'll make a no file. Um, I don't, I don't care where, but just create a no file and you'll call this your mod name, so polygons, for example. And you'll call it .json. Now you can also call it .text, I don't, it doesn't really matter, just, just create a no file. Then you'll edit that and you'll paste that in there. Next line will be dash dash and then your mod name, so like mod pack polygons. And I also want a Steam page. So you'll want to go to your um, mod page. So like uh, mod pack polygons. You'll click on that. You right click, copy page URL or copy this one. I don't care, and paste that in here. Now this is the file complete. Then you can send that file over Discord. I don't care to me, and or or chat or wherever you can contact me. Just send this file over and that's it. Um, after I've checked and validated your um, configuration, I will add that to the mod. And then basically the uh, mirror mod will have support for your mod. And that's basically it. That's everything. Now, if you like this mod and this video, then don't forget to smash that thumbs up. No, glitch that thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.